There's some great comics. Yeah, I bet there's like tons of comics I can literally grab out of this and be, be ready to, ready to use. Now this is the sh Silver Shroud thing. So where is it? Let's check upstairs. Mm. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Without that thing shining in our faces. Come on now, we don't they? Well, this, this automatic vessel's doing pretty well for me. Especially when it's firing frickin' lasers. Alright, uh, those are stairs. Seems like what we're looking for is up. That's probably why I missed every shot. I guess we'll try that again. But uh, let's get something bigger out since we're going up against some of the enemies. Let's use this.
Okay, you guys are getting annoying. Can I walk into one room without being attacked by everyone and their mother? Bosses, can that not be a thing? Huh? Let's see here. Dear Hopkins, Mr. Vivian O'Dell, now an English butler? I came into work today and found another stealth provision into the shooting script. Now the Shroud has an English butler? I keep telling Bra Babowski hey, that we need our core famous to be the evangelists. Okay, our, our core fans to be evangelists, so we can't keep making any stupid little changes. You talk to him before you go on vacation, otherwise I swear I'm bringing it up, up to Pete. Please help. I want to pull my hair out. Babowski he has cast and son in, in contract with Claire Swardell for the role of... The Mistress of Mystery. Ooh. I don't care how, how much the tomb of Amara grows. The, the Mistress of Mystery is a brunette. Not a blonde, brown, and definitely not a redhead. And, and you've heard Claire's voice. The Mistress of Mystery is confident. A match for the sure but at his best day. Got some half-starved her way. If that's no, for a shrill screaming, Shana River... Has worked for us for decades. She is the the voice of the mystery, of mystery, and a story. Even a, a natural brunette, and not as na young as Claire, but surely we can do something with the lighting, so that helps with that. If we don't fix this, I swear I'm walking. I won't have my name in the credits of this train wreck. Aaron Babowski to Vivian Dell. Oh, Re Mistress of Mystery Castle. Vivi, relax. If it's that important to you, maybe we can put Claire in a wig. But the contract is signed, so this is happening. What is it with you guys? He's in Miss Rivers anyway. Maybe 20 years ago. Maybe 20 years ago, but now she's got a face made for radio, am I right? Claire's got star power. And what we need. Need. And what we need. I talked to Peepy Boy. He's agreed to the co couple new scenes. We need new romance. And Claire's got the goods. If Tina can't roll with the, he's then I can fly in one of my boys from Hollywood. But he's a class act. I got a full schedule today. Dress rehearsals. So it's unit 8. Hey, this can't wait until you're back from the Bahamas. So if you, so if you have to meet... It eats my only window. Man. This is definitely a guy... This is definitely a guy who doesn't want to actually make... He's trying to compromise, but no one wants to make the changes. Well. Sucks to be him. Let's see here.
All right, this is his response. <clears throat> I'll talk with Mr. Grabowski, but and I won't get any. Because he has television, and he's having a little bit of change. He has a sponsor for me, and real fans are important, but the silver shirt is more than sad, but I'm sorry about that deal. Well, I hate to agree with him, but what can he do? Business is business, and. Effective Melee, I quit. You can explain to Petey how you lost the lead writer for Silver Shroud. Oh, I should have read that. Um, hmm. Well, I guess this movie was a bust to begin with, huh? Not much else. It's in the safe. So, this is what two centuries without a good dusting looks like. Got off with someone, but you never know. Maybe Ooh, a cornet costume. Perfect. This, this could be nice. I'm a draw wig, black and glasses. What do we got in here? And a baseball bat, which I already have. So, Ooh, I forgot about that. Those are nice. Let's see here. What is? What we got in here? Uh, alarm clock. Ooh, astonishing tale. Uh, oh, awesome tales. Astonishingly awesome tales. And uh, with the alien blaster. Good to know. Let's see here. Flask. I don't need a flask. I think we're good here.
<sighs> well, it went a lot better than expected. At least I don't have to worry too much about the, the ghouls now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you tell me. Gotta keep moving. So We're awful vulnerable where, here. what now? Give Kent the Silver Shroud costume. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then why did we have to go on the roof? Well, we'll just fast travel well, since he's over in Good Neighbor. So now we head to the memory den, get this to Kent. And we'll get this mission under wraps. Ah, alright. Oh, Kent boy. We got your costume. I got your costume, Kent. Here and you are. some other goodies you might like. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia, too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, everything's mm -hmm. all set. So, what's the plan exactly? Uh, what are you planning next? I'm still working that out. Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. Oh, yeah, sure. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. Hmm. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler, Jarvey Blake, but the Shroud is strong, capable. Hmm. So who gets the suit? What happens to the suit? Oh, I have an idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. Oh, yeah. What with the cryo vault and all? Hmm. Why me? Why me? You helped me out when everyone else just laughed at me. And you're from the olden days, just like me. You know how much things have fallen, how much we gotta fight for, to make the place better, so you win? Eh, uh, what the hell? Let's become the Shroud. Looks like I get to be the Shroud. Yay. The costume and gun Yay. are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Yeah, to fight crime. Well, am I over encumbered again? Yep, <laughs> I'm over encumbered. Well, well. Let's take a look at the Silver Shroud. Um, armor? Whoa! This is pretty cool. I like Also, Nick, I need to uh, hey, drop some stuff on you. Need? Galaxy! Yes, it is on. Radio! When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, Into the Robot's Den. 
Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once in a lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wayne. Sure as hell didn't have things to keep things making the place people with sense in this town because they've got Shielding another thing coming. One of them. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, The Mechanist uh, Unmasked. Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of good news. Dangling over a pit of fire reminds me of our adventure against the Chelsea Mingler. It's going to kill us, guys. Indeed, stalwart shroud. But What's that with the fancy duds? murderer was but a Looks muppet expensive. compared to the malignancy Might of the be mechanism. I found in really? the <laughs> Yeah, no, seriously. No mistress of mystery. Your crimes have gone unpunished yeah. for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, not a few bullets were pure. You must not have a body of human with delusions of grandeur. And by the way, you're not fooling anyone with that cheap get-up. You're as human as the rest of us. Star Wars Shroud, Glad Skyrim. Our team found behind the head of the body of the spot. But it was seen fighting through our findings. What am I, Emma? Hey, down there. Look at this. You robot uh. wannabe. Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have killed people. Hey. And? Hey. Look at the it. clown. This is my turf clown. You can't let AJ kill And kids. I don't appreciate what you call them. Whatever. <laughs> I'm enjoying this way too much. Galaxy. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today you face the Silver Shroud! Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, Christ's sake. We can't put you up to this. He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back. All right? Mm, yeah. Let's go with this full persona. Full persona, let's go. children, miscreant, or face my wrath! You're through, son. Throw you. 
meeting a friend. Waste the free. No business of yours. <laughs> Broken for a second. Nope, you're just out of bullets. Okay, two for two. Like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in. On I the don't train care. Now. No, he's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids, and his chems have k killed people. And? I don't get it. We can't let AJ kill kids. Whatever. Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks hmm. in the shadows. Shield Galaxy. I may keep the whole persona. Radio. When evil walks the streets hey, of Boston, look at the clown. This is my turf clown, and I don't appreciate what you call on this trespassers. Today's episode, the mystery of peddling poison to kids, are we? Today you face the silver shroud. So uh, now, <laughs> reveal oh, yourself. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Stop silver selling shroud. to children, miscreant, or face my wrath. Uh, you're so you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> square on such a <laughs> Right here, Mayor Murphy. He was up to some mischief. The mayor. So he wasn't here in some kind of official capacity. Hardly. Here, let me show you. The content of the late mayor's case. You messed with the wrong... But these are... Real estate papers, leases and deeds from most of the businesses in Scarlet Square. Oh Indeed they are, my intrepid investigator. It would seem our Mayor Murphy was involved in a rather crooked caper. Be bothering anybody now. He was here to meet with some hmm. other mysterious Now this is kind of fun. <laughs> Playing a very, so very Mayor, violent vigilante. Or should I say, silver with Silver Shroud? The Ooh. Mystery and the mayor. Alright, see what we do. Fight faith, my boss. So, you were meeting with Mayor Murphy. But why? Tell oh, me, cool, cool, and cool. you may yet live. Best listen to my friend, Fahey. I'll never talk. And you two are in over your heads. So be it. Death has come for you, evildoer. And the Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail.
the same Kendra who bombed Little Joe's shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Please. Be still, sweet trout. What posters? Those old timey back posters from back in the day. My mate, Ken, still picked them up every damn place. Mistress of mysteries, no. I'm Full persona. Can't stop me. You look upon the Silver Shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. Shroud. Like Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have been down. Down. In, in that case, her flat's it just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street apart. Yep, for the blighters she's got Incurring with her. Nasty of piece of business there. Good luck. Unexpected, annoyance. unexpected by the us, the maybe. But perhaps not by Fat Fate. Ah, I'm starting to to see into his twisted plan. Ah, damn this gunshot wound. Another special Water update. No, so where are those it wasn't Bobby be? No Nos who offed AJ in the school. Was. <clears throat> it was a silver shroud. Us, but... See his calling so, card if you don't believe me. That. Now's our time, listeners. Justice and is coming to good neighbors. By, you'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna try and see if I can find it. And perform justice on the evilest of evil, the duelist of due, and stuff of that nature. Look at this! It is a death stalker, and he's evil. Boogity boo, boogity boo. I'm actually a death claw, you messed up. Oh, now people will get angry. Probably be angry. Look at my claw, you have it. Come on, doll face. It's right through here. Who? Oh, gee, Polly. I ain't never been in a secret gangster hideout before. What the? Polly, you dumb jamoke. What's the big idea? Bringing a dame into our hideout. Into my hideout. Now nah, relax, boss. She's all right. Ain't you all right, Wendy? Cindy? Yeah. It's Candy. And yeah, of course I'm all right. I'm just a young, dumb girl. Yeah, excuse me, pardon me, Silver Shroud coming through. Man. Ah, brother. All right. The skirt can stay. But close that door. Last thing we need is... A silver shroud infiltrating your nefarious lair. Holy cannoli! It's the nightmare of night! The deceptive detective! The dark... Giggity! Paul, oh, you idiot! You were duped! That's no normal day! 